All right, cool. So right here, I have some hydrochloric acid and some different metals. And we're going to react them together and see what takes place. Now, whenever you add a metal to an acid, the products are always a metal salt plus hydrogen gas. So we're going to start with some magnesium metal and we're going to put it into the hydrochloric acid. Right, so when I add the magnesium to the hydrochloric acid, we can see a lot of effervescence and a lot of bubbles being produced. Now the reason why is because hydrogen gas is being released. Now the magnesium is reacting with the chlorine in hydrochloric acid to produce magnesium chloride. So that's the salt that was produced. Now if I fill the boiling tube, it's actually starting to get warm. This tells us that heat energy is being transferred to the surroundings. Right, so the next metal that we're going to test is some zinc metal. So we're going to put the zinc metal into the hydrochloric acid and see what reaction occurs. Now as soon as I put the zinc metal into the hydrochloric acid, we can see a lot of gas and bubbles being produced. Now that's hydrogen gas. The scientific term for bubbling and fizzing is effervescence. Now what's happening right now is the zinc is reacting with the chlorine in hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride. So that's the salt and we can also see the hydrogen released as well. Right, so this is calcium metal. Let's put it into the hydrochloric acid and see what reaction occurs. Now we can see that there's a lot of fizzing and a lot of bubbles being produced. Again, that's hydrogen gas being released. Now if I was to touch this boiling tube, it would be very warm. That's because heat energy is being transferred into the surroundings. Now in this case, the salt made is calcium chloride. Right, so here I have some sodium metal. Now this is the most reactive out of all the metals that we've tested. And let's put it into the hydrochloric acid and see what reaction takes place. Now we can see a lot of fizzing and bubbles being produced. That's hydrogen gas being released. And also the salt produced when you put sodium into hydrochloric acid is sodium chloride, also known as table salt.